Good morning, everybody. This is Griff with the Hookup Tackle. I'm here being filmed by Jeff, aka Jeffrey the King, on YouTube. Welcome again. Today, I wanted to just take a couple minutes to talk about this bait that I've been using a ton of in the, over the last few weeks, and I'm really, really starting to fall in love with it. And that's going to be the OSP HP Shad Tail. Welcome to the Hookup Tackle. The Hookup Tackle is the world's largest showcase of Mega Bass products. Featuring baits and colors not found at any other dealer. The hookup also offers a wide display of OSP, Evergreen, Depths, Lucky Craft, Jackal, and many more. The hookup tackle is owned and operated by family, is staffed by guides and verified tackle nerds who love helping anglers elevate their craft. If you're in the Phoenix area, we'd love to have you stop by our showroom and check out the wonderful world of Mega Bass and the hookup for yourself. If you shop online, there are almost 10,000 SKUs of Mega Bass products alone with hundreds of other companies and new products being added daily. So next time you're looking for that hard to find bait, that color your fish have never seen before, or maybe you just want to elevate your game, look at thehookuptackle.com. The HP Chattel is a worm with a paddle tail. Some are going to consider it a swim bait. I really don't consider it a swim bait, but it's a, it's a great one when you need a, a little bit of action on your worm. So it comes in multiple sizes. We got it at 2.5 inch, 3.1, and 3.6. We have a ton of colors on this, so the possibilities are, are unlimited, all right? So when rigging the HP Chattel, we like to do it most of the time, we're just gonna put it on a free rig, but when they're just not keen into that free rig and they want something a little bit different, there are a couple other ways. Uh, you can rig it weightless and just throw it out there and let it do its own thing. You can you can drag it in. It's going to get a ton of tail kick on, on the paddle tail right there. But when it does fall, it's going to give you a little bit different than your standard paddle tail and your standard worm, right? The way that I've been using it lately, I don't even know what to call this. I call it the Vato rig. The Vato rig. Because it was, it was shown to me by somebody in the shop. All I'm doing is I'm... I'm rigging it Texas rig. I'm putting a free rig weight on the shank of the hook right here. What that's gonna allow is for when I, I'm gonna pull it up, it's gonna shake when it comes up. The weight is going to slide here in the center. It's going to pause. It's gonna give you like a half second to one second pause. And then as it starts to tilt, the weight will fall down and it'll give you the shimmy all the way down to the bottom. I've been experimenting with different weights and I think, again, I can always say, the depth of the water is gonna determine what weight that you use. I like to keep it small because I'm not really trying to showcase the weight on there. Uh, these tungsten weights are perfect because you can get them in a little bit heavier sizes in a small profile. And they're not gonna get in the way when that fish bites it. He's gonna collapse the bait on the hook and you're gonna get that hook set. The weight's not gonna get in the way once you're set into a hook, or once you're set into a fish that weight is not going to fly off the hook either. It's going to stay pretty pinned. It's going to catch you a lot of fish. So one thing that I'm targeting a lot around my area is a lot of brush, sheer cliff walls, and things like that. The small profile of this bait is, is pretty non-aggressive. And then, like, that's the big one. This is the 3.6. Super small, super finesse. Fishing it on 8 to 10 pound fluoro. And of course, you all know that I'm using my Windbuster with that. I have the most confidence with that rod. It gives me the perfect action to do 90% of anything that I'm doing with the spinning rod. Super amazing. So with that rig, grab that rig. If you had somebody that was just fearful of losing that weight, because tungsten weights are pretty expensive, yeah. could you in theory put a stopper here? You could put a stopper there. Just, it, just to ensure that you don't lose that weight. Yeah, you could put a stopper on there. It's not going to affect the action of the bait. I don't think it's necessary, mm -hmm. but if you want that extra confidence, yeah. yeah, definitely add a stopper on there, add a peg. It will also keep the bait up on the hook mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, without it sliding because, you know, soft plastics, they will wear out. At, at, you keep casting them and casting them. That hole will get bigger and it will slide. Yeah. These are your typical OSP uh, plastic, mm -hmm. so they're, they're going to have a lot of action. They're not going to be the most durable of baits. Yeah. But that's why they have the, that kind of action. Mm -hmm. Right. 
the amount of salt they put in there. It's like the perfect blend of all the good stuff all into one piece of plastic. So I don't know if you've been seeing the Japanese and how they fish it, but they fish it on a small little ball head. Have you experimented with that? I have not put it on a ball head yet, but that would be my next move. Mm -hmm. With the ball head, you're going to get a little bit more rock on there. Yeah. Right? And it's going to be more of a straight retrieve mm -hmm. on that one. I haven't done any straight retrieve stuff with this, but I can imagine that as the bite gets slower and slower, that's going to be the way I need to fish it. So I think how you kind of started it off, it's not a swim bait and it's also not a worm. Uh, but it seems like you can fish it in both ways. So right now you're fishing it more like a, a worm style, like on a free rig, you'll hop it. On a Texas rig, you'll drag it instead of like just thinking like, oh, it's got a boot tail, that means I have to swim it in. Yeah. Yeah, so it it gives you the option to do whatever you want with it, right? Yep. Because it will swim, mm -hmm. but it's so thin right here you're only going to get this tail action. Yeah. You're not going to get a ton of ton of much else, right? You're right. So you can swim it. it you would not be wrong if you did swim it. Mm -hmm. But I feel like there, there's so many things that you can do with this that you'll be wasting the potential of it if you just swam it. Gotcha. Yeah. So, super versatile bait. It's super fun. I mean, you run that 2.5 when they're chasing that baby, like that fresh shad fry. And they're just going to eat it up. Oh, yeah. 100%. Yeah. I hope you guys will go out there and try this. Uh, you might have, you might learn that you're going to have a lot of fun with it. And then catch some fish. All right. Thanks, guys. <laughs>